Hello everyone, your boy Dylan here, and today we will be reacting to SML movie Dougie's Call of Duty Heist. So I was out to eat, I was busy doing Saturday, busy Saturday things, like shopping and, and just all that family stuff, uh, family dinner also. Um... So I know I don't have an intro and an outro yet. Like I'm on my new computer, like the one, like what I'm using right now, it doesn't have an editing software and stuff or stuff like that. And I'm working on to get a uh, the video a video editor. So there will be an intro and stuff and just like a little bit more creative creativity sort of but anyways no time wasted hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe hope you hope y'all are having a great weekend so far even though it's halfway over anyways let's begin are you ready for your vasectomy marvin i just want to hurry up and get this over with hey marvin ready to Vasectomy. stop being a man what well i just asked if you're ready for me to cut your balls off you're not gonna actually cut my balls off no but i mean i might as well they're not gonna work anymore you know, just want to make sure because it. last time the audio was off and now this time but I, mean, hey, I didn't you forget but i'm still gonna have my balls well, yeah but what's the point i mean they're not gonna work i can't invite you to boys night you're not really gonna i was gonna boys. say how does you that know, work and can we just hurry up and get this over with all right you want anesthesia or not of course i want anesthesia see there's the no balls already see a real man would take it like a man well, I, I don't want to be awake during it. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be awake either to see the massive mistake I was making. It, listen, listen, me and Rose do it all the time, and I don't want to risk getting her pregnant. Marvin, you don't have to kid yourself. It's not like you can get your right hand pregnant. No, 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 we seriously do it all the time, me and her. just use, you just use, uh, I'm married, too. I had some dates with old righty and lefty. Yeah, that's right. I use both. I mean, not at the same time. I mean, I don't have enough unit to use them both at the same time. I just mean, I switch off, you know, like like uh, pitchers in the World Series. When one gets tired, I just switch from right to left. Okay, well, can I please just get a different doctor to do my vasectomy? No, there's no other doctors here qualified to do vasectomies. I mean, there used to be one, but he doesn't work here anymore. His name was Dr. Vinny Vasectomy. Oh, man, he loved doing vasectomies. He loved them so much, he changed his last name to vasectomy. And he would just give it ID. a vasectomy, even if they didn't want it. Just ran around with a pair of scissors snipping balls. And then one day, he wanted to do the biggest vasectomy ever. The President of the United States. So he got a job working as the hedge clipper in the White House garden. And then one day, the President came out, and he just ran at him, trying to snip his balls. Yeah, he didn't even get close. The, the Secret Service just shot him dead right there. I mean, just not even close. They just lit his ass off. He's dead. So yeah, he's dead. So you just get me. Well, can you just hurry up and do the vasectomy? Jesus, Marvin, you left your pants on and your shoes? What's wrong with my pants? Well, how am I supposed to cut your balls off with your pants on, Marvin? Do I just cut through them? Well, you can just take them off with them asleep. And you're wearing a shirt and tie? Marvin, this is a surgery, not a job interview. Well, just take my clothes off once I'm asleep. I'm not going to undress you. You always had that on. Joe, Marvin, that's weird. Well, I don't want to get naked in front of you. I don't want you to see my stuff. I'm going to see it. I'm going to be down there. I'm going to see everything. Well, can't you just do it through the pants leg? Through the pants leg? Marvin, those are Levi's. Are your balls really all the way down there? No, what's it? Just do it. Just give me the Did you just say pants leg? Do it through the pants leg. Ow. You feeling it? Oh, uh, I'm getting lightheaded. Like, I'm fading away. No, you're not, Marvin, because that was just <laughs> air. <laughs> At least you got to have your lifetime movie moment. I'm fading away. away. What are you, hating Christians? Oh, oh no. Give me the real anesthesia. I'm fading away. Why do I do it in the head this time? Not my head. Ah! In the uh, head? Uh, I have to pee. Well, wait, Cinderella. You're gonna miss the ball snip. You're supposed to, <laughs> don't you, aren't you supposed to do it in the arm or something? I don't know. Disney Speed Store or like IV, too? I don't know. I don't know. Seventy dollars for the new Call of Duty game. Yeah, he is. He's right there. Marvin, please give me 
seventy dollars for a new Call of Duty game. Ducky, how'd you get in here? He just barged Maybe in. it was in a dream. Maybe he was half asleep. Yo, it's he's not he's not family to you. You're not related to him. So like, you haven't bathed in, I'm assuming, based on the smell, and you haven't shaved because it looks like the Amazon rainforest down there. It looks like a mushroom sticking out of a bush. I didn't know to shower or shave before surgery. Oh, you thought we were going to do that for you, too? A and mushroom sticking out of a bush. Ugh. Pants off over your shoes. Oh, and Ugh. Way, Marvin, you have dingleberries. That's that nasty. In your ass. You're one fart away from having a blizzard in this bitch. Listen, can you just hurry up and do my massage to me, please? Dingleberries I remind me of the, of, Bla of the phone Blackberry. So Old school phone. For another six months until you can sort all that shit out. Six months? What if I get my wife pregnant? Believe me, she's not gonna go anywhere near that thing if she can find it. And even if she did, the smell would scare her away. Oh, come on, Dougie. The game's not to get the game. No. That's kind of harsh to say hey, to his face. Hey, Marvin, your me. You left me at the hospital. I'm sorry, Marvin, but I had to pee, and you know I don't like public restrooms. I had to take an Uber. You got money for Uber, but you ain't got money to get me the game. How did your vasectomy go? The doctor had to come on, man. Yeah. Really? The emergency came up. Marvin got a dirty dick. What? Like the Dougie shot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It is snow globe. Aw, that's an a good Uber thing. probably yeah, costs. In this bitch. What? Oh uh, look, there's some like half less. Like what are you talking about? Toilet paper and dingleberries. Ooh, dingleberries. Is that a new kind of fruit? Can I make a pie with them? Yeah, it's found in the country of Marvin. What? Ass, and you don't want to make a pie with those berries. They're poison. Oh, Dingleberry oh, witness. Oh, Wait. Peppermint nose, tingleberry witness. What? Peppermint nose. Damn, two thousand dollars for that. No, no, the insurance doesn't cover avoidable stuff like bathing and shaving, so you gotta pay me. I don't have seven thousand dollars. Marvin, we're gonna go in debt. Marvin will be in debt another seventy dollars to give me the game. Shut up, Dougie. Listen, doctor, we don't have seven thousand dollars right now. You have to give us a few months to pay it. Well, that's not gonna work. You gotta pay it right now, and not paying a hospital bill is a crime. So if you don't pay me, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Uh, arrest us? Uh, we don't have seven thousand dollars. You gotta give us some time, please. All right, is it actually a crime? Like more. seriously, in real tomorrow life? Tomorrow morning to come up with seven thousand dollars. Oh my God, how are we gonna do that? And trust me, buddy, I feel bad charging you all this money because apparently you can't afford soap or a razor or even a comb. But I just really can't let this shit slide. And apparently your shit can't slide either. It gets caught in a net. Marvin, what is he talking about? I don't know, but we need to focus on making seven thousand dollars tonight. Ew, Marvin, why are there pieces of toilet paper on the couch? What? No, no, listen, <laughs> guys, focus on the $7,000. I'll go to jail. Ooh, Ooh I've got some ideas for my dips. What is it? Well, if you give me $70 to get the new car new this black No! Oh, no, no, I'm not getting the dips. I need $70 to get the new car new this black box six. And then I play the game so really, really, so really good. And then they see how really good I'm being playing at the new game that I in a new car new this black box six competition. And then I win. Idea, what? But even a contest that'll pay seven thousand dollars tonight. Not yet, but when they see how really good I'm playing the game, they go make one. Well, that would be a really good idea if we could get the money tonight, but we cannot get the money tonight. I don't even have seventy dollars to buy the game. We need to make up money without buying anything. Oh, I got some other ideas. I'll be right back. Oh, I mind this. I went to the gas station and I stole some Mr. Beast candy bars because it says right here you can win a million dollars. Dougie, the, what are the odds of actually winning a million dollars? It's a candy scam. Well, I got 12 of them right here. So there could be $12 million in you. There's no way there's $12 million in there, Dougie. It's a waste of time. I have to find a way to get $7,000 tonight. Well, I got another idea, but it could get us in a lot of many really good trouble. Well, what, will it get us to $7,000? Mm -hmm. Well, then tell me about it. All right. So we dress up like robbers and we go to the banks while it's closed and there's probably going to be a security guard sitting outside so we have to distract them so good. So we throw a bucket of KFC chicken <laughs> and he start eating it and saying, yummy so good, 
Yum is so good. And while he eating, we go inside the bank, and it's probably gonna be a bunch of red lasers. So we take mirrors to our face and baps to make the lasers bounce off. And then we get to the safe, and you pull out a and go. And then listen to the right company to the safe. And then we open it up, and there's so much money, so money, so good. And we start stacking our pop ups. Then we blow the holes in the roofs, and the helicopter drops a lot of down, and we escape. And then I buy the new Call of Duties and I plays it all night long and I'm so happy. Okay, that plan's impossible, Dougie. We don't have a helicopter to help us escape and we can't afford KFC to distract the guard. Okay, fine. Then we just knock out the guard, break into the Good men. All right, let's, let's just do it because we're, we're done. Good men's so we rich. Need the money. Let's do it in the outfits. Okay. <laughs> all right, Dougie, we're in. Oh my God, the alarm. Turn off. I ain't no computer nerd. I ain't know how to do that. Well, let's steal the money before the cops show up. Please, you're under arrest for trying to rob the bank. Oh my God, we're so screwed, Dougie. Wait, Marvin? Uh, no. Uh -huh. Marvin, I know it's you. I saw the toilet paper on your ass. Oh my God. Marvin, why are you trying to... Ew. I owe you $7,000 for anesthesia. And the dingleberries. And the, and the dingleberries. And also the $70 for the new Call of Duty game. Marvin... I'll tell you what, I'll let you rob this bank because I really want you to clean your ass. Wait, you, you're gonna let me rob the bank? <laughs> yeah, come on, I'll let you in the hole. Okay. Just because you want it to clean your ass. I'm gonna be blazing it all night. Black Ops Six. Oh yeah, baby, the plan went perfectly. We walked right I remember I used to play Black Ops One and Black Ops Two like ten years ago. Marvin, ten years what is ago? Talking about? I don't know. Uh, almost, almost ten years ago. Yeah, I played Black Ops One, Black Ops Two. You can't steal the money. I stole it stealing. It's crazy. Because I'm the cops, and if you did call the cops, I just tell them you stole it, which you did. Jesus, Snowglobe, look at that. Oh my God, Marvin, what is wrong with you? Marvin, where's all this tissue paper coming from? His ass, it's his ass confetti. Look at that, you can make snow <laughs> angels. Go ahead, Marvin, confetti. make some snow angels. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> hey, Marvin, I have some important documents I need to trade. Could you wipe your ass with them? I mean, how does this even happen? What are you doing in there? I, listen, I, <laughs> buy, just take, take the money and leave, please. I'll tell you what, here's a hundred bucks. Buy yourself a razor and some soap, Jesus. Wait, yeah, then the rest of the money? Have you ever stolen something? No. No, I have not ever stolen anything. Because I'm was just raised better. <laughs> no, I have not stole have I have not stole anything. Um comment down below, have you guys stole anything? Let me know in the comments. Um anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.